missed your two seconds on this filming. Okay, so, um, I don't know where you were, okay? I like, wow, I, I'm trying to think here what happened. Um, so there's this dude who I think is really cool. He's like an older gentleman. Like, I was gonna call him an old man, but yeah, he's, he's a gentleman. But you know what he does? He cleans, like, he he works with, like, dead animals. Like, he, he specifies in, like, alligators. He cleans them up with beetles and stuff. He does all this stuff. Yeah. He brought, like, a bunch of people to come to the five-year anniversary, right? Yeah. And, like, so, of course, the event said SciShow stuff, and he knows I do the fire thing. He really wants to see fire breathing. I'm like, dude, I work for tips. So, you know, puts a 20 in the hat, and, of course, off I go. <laughs> I haven't done it in a while. And the wind conditions were perfect, and uh, so I did it. You know what happens though is like, um, like I was kind of nervous, so like I, you could say I mindlessly spit. Like there's a certain way that you're supposed to spit, like kind of like I almost want to say like Triple H if you watch pro wrestling, but uh, but it's like it, you do have to miss, but at the same time like, you gotta clean up well or like wipe well. Yeah. I well as a girl, yeah, the oil slips down your chest and under areas breast <laughs> like fucking yeah and it, and it gets itchy like it's like um you get a rash i mean it's it's called some it's called something it's called um yeah i don't know if i can remember that uh i know it's chemical burn there's there's a certain word for it though uh there's also something else you have to be careful of some kind of pneumonia or something like that uh they call it fire breathers fire breathers lung there's a lot of things you have to watch out for uh there's actually a podcast apparently out there that somebody confronted me about and told me how it causes somebody to have a leaky butthole so they kind of like were implying that maybe that's why my wrestling character was the toxic butthole because it calls anal seepage which is exact words so i was like oh god Like, <laughs> the oil, like, I mean, obviously you're not supposed to ingest that stuff. And it is harmful and fatal to swallow what I attempt to say at every show. I did it out front. I don't know. That's the only one thing I haven't seen you done. Really? Yeah. Ah, uh, I need fuel. I definitely should, uh, hey, wait a minute. I was thinking. I wasn't, like, well, that was Saturday. Like, I don't, I don't remember being, feeling sick on Saturday, actually. I was going to say, what if it was the fuel that made me sick? If you're trying to go to Barnes & Noble, it's totally right there. But you don't want to read there. But we could just go keep going out here. Wherever you want to do. Listen to your intuition. Yeah. Eh, if, you can, if you're not going to, oh, yeah. Listen to it, yeah. Right. You work tomorrow? I feel like I finally met a friend like me. I feel like, like, uh, if you would have said no, and if I would have said no, that we would have been like, all right, let's go. <laughs> like, fuck clothes, fuck anything else, whatever, let's go. <laughs> I got, like, a shirt in the back. Oh, do you? You're always prepared? No, I was... Just got lucky? No, I had my stuff from going to the gym. Oh, true? Yeah, see, like, Smart. I got my boxing gloves. I could teach you how to box. Could you? Yeah. We're gonna box together? Oh, man. I'm same weight class, so. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucking dope. I remember you talking about that at the party. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I will fucking counterpunch the shit out of you. Counterpunch, huh? I'll teach you how to do it. Do you want to learn? I would love to learn, actually. I'll admit, I'm kind of shy, and, like, I'm kind of into it, so I might get rowdy. Like, I can't, I can't control how I'm going to react. What if I have, like, uh, PTSD and trigger happens and I swing or something? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> I know how to guard myself. I definitely always wondered that. Like, that was also kind of a concern about before going in. Like, what if I fucking black out? Like, I don't know what would happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's where you had to, like, I mean. Just because I've been through so much psychologically and, like, or, like, I feel like, or, like, I, or, like, I'm a sensitive person. I, I, like, I'm, a, I'm a very emotional. I can feel my emotions on a heavy level to the point where I feel other people's emotions. Like, I'm super gotta, sensitive. You gotta control your mind. You don't wanna. And know. my boundaries. Like, listen, I control listen, my mind. Listen. My mind is my boundaries, I guess, huh? Listen. Yes. Yes, yeah. Daddy. Go. Alright, so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. You gotta control, like, if you're going into a fight, you have to control your mind so you not black out because you have to watch other people. 
raise my shoulders to punch, maybe. Like, I mean, I don't well, know. You don't want to, like, I don't know. Like, that's the gimmick, and yeah, they got all this stuff going on, like, 
I don't know, something tells me to go. And, like, I made all these, I, I talked to my teacher already, I made, I kind of made some arrangements where it's possible where I could go. I, I would be able to fly out, like, Wednesday after class. Like a real quick tattoo, okay? I had to get it 